This is the last in a series of screencasts that I'm doing talking about the JavaScript Remote Call Center solution. In the first screencast, I talked about this application layer here, which includes Phono, which lets you build telephony and communication applications in your web browser, an instance of CouchDB, and CouchApp. In the last screencast, I talked about this center part here, which is Node.js. We have a TCP server written in Node.js, which actually acts as middleware between an instance of Asterisk, which is an open source telephony platform, and CouchDB. In this screencast, what I'm going to show you how to do, if you don't want to run your own instance of Asterisk locally, you can run the Asterisk AGI application in this solution, and any Asterisk AGI application for that matter, uh, in the cloud using the Tropa platform. And we're going to use a real-world telephone number and use a traditional landline to dial uh, a remote agent that is using Phono and has a Phono instance open and running in their web browser. Now to do this, what you'll need to do is go to tropo.com and either log in or create an account. Now we're going to use a special application called Tropo Agitate. Agitate is a Ruby application that's written specifically for the Tropo platform and lets you run asterisk AGI applications using Tropo. For all intents and purposes, Tropo, or Tropo Agitate emulates uh, an asterisk instance, so your application thinks it's talking to asterisk. But you get all the benefits of running in Tropo, which includes easy setup and very easy provisioning of phone numbers. So what you're going to need to do is create a new Tropo scripting application. And I've done that here, called the JavaScript Remote Agent Solution. And from the Tropo Agitate GitHub repo, which is at github.com slash tropo slash tropo agitate, you're going to want to go into the library. Uh, tropo agitate.rb is the file we want. And you're literally going to copy the raw link and use that as the start URL for your application. The next thing you'll need to do is uh, go into the tropo underscore agi underscore config directory in the GitHub repo and copy the uh, uh, YML file. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set this up to point to your environment where your AGI script is running. So what I've basically done here is I've told, uh, I've set this config setting to basically point to my home environment. Now I've got a firewall rule set up that will forward any traffic on port 4573 to the machine that's running my my node script. Once you've done that, simply go to your account, click on your hosted files, create a directory called tropo underscore agi underscore config, upload your file. Now you're ready to go. Now I will say that there are some more detailed discussions of how to set up tropo agitate and I will link to them in this blog post in case you want more information. So here's our remote agent uh, database. We've talked about this in each of our screencasts. And as you can see, I don't have any agents online right now. Let's change that. Okay, so my agent is online. My, my Phono instance has uh, instantiated and registered with the Voxio SIP network. And there's my agent. They are currently in a state of ready. So now what I want to do is I want to be able to call this real-world telephone number here. You've, you can see I've added a 518 area code number. You can add any number you want uh, from our pool of available numbers. There are dozens of them and uh, they are free to use in our development environment. Now I've added uh, this 518 area code because I used to live near there. It's in upstate New York in the Albany area. But I want to call this number on a landline telephone, and I want to make this instance of Phono that's running in my web browser ring, and I want to be able to talk to it. What I need to do is I need to um, launch our node TCP server, just like we did in the last screencast. So I'll go ahead and do that. That's running, and my Phono instance is waiting. Now what we're going to do is we're going to watch this node script right here. We should see some activity come through here. The connection from Tropo. And we should see our node script telling Tropo to transfer the call to this Phono instance here. I'm just going to dial that number from my landline telephone. Agent 94, this is command base. Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm talking through I'm a landline telephone, 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 and I'm talking, and I'm talking to, to a phono telephone, phono telephone running in a web browser. Running in a web browser. Let's hang up. Let's hang up. There, you can see my connection drop just like I thought it would. And that's what our node script saw. Everything looks very normal, and. Our agents should actually be back in a state of ready because they've taken a call, but you can see from the rev ID that this record has changed a few times, as we've uh, explained in some of the last uh, uh, screencasts. 
So there you have it. Uh, this is a complete remote agent solution. We've basically uh, traversed this technology uh, 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 collection from end to end. We've called a real-world telephone number uh, running in the Tropa platform. We've emulated this uh, asterisk piece here, connected to a Node.js TCP server, accessed a CouchDB database, and obtained the identifier for a phono instance that's served up by this Couch app. So there you have it, a complete JavaScript remote call center solution.